Teresa Dufour with today's CT Style Express. If you are looking for some activities with the entire family, the New England Air Museum has plenty to offer in person and virtually. Here with the details is the Director of Advancement and External Affairs, Ron Katz. Great to see you, Ron. Thanks, Teresa. Great to see you as well. What is that fabulous backdrop behind you? <laughs> So that is a Bernelli Loadmaster. It's the newest aircraft uh, that we brought in from our restoration hangar. It was a nine-year restoration project. It's a one-of-a-kind aircraft. You won't see it anywhere else in the world. Wow, that's fantastic. So talk to me a little bit about how the Air Museum is still a really great place to visit, even during a, the pandemic. Sure. So we've been, uh, well, ever since we opened back in uh, June of last year, we were able to reopen. Uh, we've had a great response from our visitors, uh, largely because the Air Museum is, is so big. Uh, the, the aircraft hangars are so large. There's plenty of room to spread out. There's lots to see and do. You don't have to touch anything. You don't have to interact with people, and you can still have a great experience uh, seeing the aircraft, learning about the aircraft, um, staying socially distanced. And if you have questions or are looking for more information, our docents are on hand with their masks and uh, ready to answer questions for anybody. And this weekend you have a, a big uh, event happening both in person and online. That's correct. We have our Women Take Flight event uh, coming up this weekend. It's an annual event. Uh, this is the first time we've, we've had to do it uh, not entirely on site. We're, we're splitting the activities up so that we'll have some things taking place uh, on site every Saturday throughout the month of March. Uh, but this Saturday, uh, March 6th, we're launching the uh, Women Take Flight website, which will have a whole range of activities, interviews with uh, women in aviation, women in aerospace, um, some really exciting things. Sure. Ron, talk to me about how uh, the museum has made a lot of improvements and changes during this time. Sure. We haven't slowed down just because of the pandemic. We've had a lot going on uh, for the, over the past year. We installed uh, augmented reality in one of our exhibits for the first time. We have a new 3D hologram in our command exhibit. We have a new app that can tie a lot of the technology together. So anybody who's interested in technology should come on by and check that out. We have, uh, we actually have a new Redbird flight simulator that uh, is, is, we're just finishing up the installation, but this is a full motion flight simulator where people who are interested in learning uh, how to fly or pilots who need to uh, spend more time in the cockpit can come in and do that. Uh, we have new exhibits. Our New England Women in Aviation exhibit will be uh, opening a little bit later this year. So we haven't slowed down at all. There's always something new going on. Sure. And why is this a great place for the whole, whole family to come in and check out? It's just, it's just so exciting for people who, what we hear the most when people come in for the first time, uh, they say, wow, I never thought it was going to be like this because people don't anticipate the, uh, the variety of the aircraft that we have, the, all of the uh, really interesting and unique things that they can see that you just can't see anyplace else. Makes a lot of sense. Well, the museum is open Tuesday through Sunday, 10 to 3. And of course, you can learn more over at the, uh, at the website, which is neam. Dot org. And Ron, again, this weekend, uh, the special event happening, Women Take Flight. Right. Yes, and that's on our website as well. All right. Very good, Ron. Thank you so much for your time and letting us know that there's lots to do up at the New England Air Museum. Thanks, Teresa. All right. That is your CT Style Express. I'm Teresa Dufour. We'll see you back here tomorrow.